Merge sort is another divide and conquer algorithm. For this algorithm, we will use recursion, like we did in quicksort. The key to writing a recursive algorithm is to know what your subproblems are. For merge sort, we assume that there are two sorted arrays, and then we just need to merge them together in a way that the resulting array will be sorted as well. So how would we do that? Let's say we have a sorted array L and a sorted array R for left and right. Then if we want to merge them into a single sorted array, we will need to start by looking at the smallest of both arrays, which is the head of each array. And then we just compare these two elements and pull out the smaller one and put it in our merged array. So in our example, L is 7, 13, 19, and 23, and R is 2, 6, 9, 15, and they are both sorted. The head of L is 7, and the head of R is 2. Since the head of R is smaller, we'll take 2 and insert it into our merged array. Now we move the head of R onto the next element. Now we do that again. We compare L and R. R is still smaller this time, so we put the 6 into our merged array and we increment our head pointer of R. This time, L is smaller than R, so we insert 7 into our merged array and increment the head pointer of L. So we repeat this until we fully merge the two arrays. As you can see, our merged array is sorted. The great thing about merging two sorted arrays is that we can merge them quite easily by just looking at the head of the array and comparing them. We don't need to do any searching, and we're guaranteed to only do n comparisons, where n is the number of elements in the merged array, which makes merging a linear time complexity operation. So let's see how we can fully implement merge sort so we can understand where those sorted arrays came from initially. For merge sort, you start with an unsorted array. And what we want to do first is divide the array into two. We'll call it the left part and the right part. To divide the array, what we'll do is find the middle index, which is the length of the array divided by two. And then we'll copy the elements into the two new arrays, one named L and one named R. Now we can recursively call merge sort on L and merge sort on R and let the recursion magic deal with them. This gives us a sorted array L and a sorted array R. So we just have to merge them like I showed you before. So right now we have three arrays. Let's set three variables that are each initialized to the first element of each array. Head L would point to the head of array L. Head R would point to the head of array R and I would point to the head of our original array, which we will overwrite. Now we do the comparison between the head L and head R. If head L is smaller, then we'll put that element in an array on index I and increment head L. If head L is not smaller, then we do the same thing, but with head R. In this example, two is smaller. So we assign the number two on array in index I and we increment head R. If the two numbers are equal, we'll just say that head R is smaller. So it will be captured in the L statement. We want to repeat this. So we wrap this part around with a while loop and increment I by one after each loop. We will stop the loop when one of the arrays has reached its end. So the loop will go on while head L and head R are smaller than the length of its array. If one of the array is exhausted, it means that the other array will still have a few elements left. So we loop through the remaining elements and add it to our original array until you complete it. So that's about it. What we did was we divided the array and made two copies, sorted each subarray by recursion, and in the while loop, we did the comparison and we overwrote our original array with the smaller of the two. Then we increment either head of L or head of R and we increment I. And we kept on repeating that process until one of the two arrays are all used up, exhausted. Then we just put the leftovers in the original array one by one. To visualize the recursion, you could think of it like this. We initially have the array 23, 13, 7, 19, 9, 15, 2, and 6. 
Then we divide the two arrays. You call merge sort on the left array and the right array. For each of those arrays, we'll again divide the array into a left and a right array since we're calling merge sort on them. And then again, up until there is only one element left. When there's one element, we don't even need to merge since the array is already sorted with one element. These single element arrays are returned from the merge sort call where the parent function merges them. You can see that the returned arrays are sorted. And then the parents of them will do the same all the way to the end until our final merge, which we merge two sorted arrays of length four. And finally, we get our sorted array. So what do you think the time complexity of this sorting algorithm is? Remember when we talked about dividing your problem space into half every time? Let's analyze our array and our deconstructed recursion. What's the time complexity of divide? Since we have to create two new arrays and fill them with the elements in our original array, it will be a O of N operation. The deeper within the recursion, you'll perform more divides, but each divide will be performed on smaller arrays. But if you add them all up, it's going to be N. What about merge? Merge is also O of N time complexity, like we said before. To simplify, each stage in this diagram is an O of N operation. And how many stages do we have? We actually have two times log of N stages because we are dividing the array in each stage, just like the height of a balanced tree. The height of the stages for divide is log of N and the height of the stages for merge is also log of N. So two times log of N stages multiplied by O of N for merge or divide that gives us a time complexity of O of n log n. Hence, the time complexity of merge sort is O of n log n. What about the space complexity? We have to copy the array elements into new arrays. So that is O of n. And as you can see, merge sort has a great time complexity, but it does require additional space compared to quicksort. So that was merge sort, and I'll see you in the next one.